are you guys doing? No, no, you can't. This is not what we signed up for. It's funny on set, it's funny on camera, and it's funny behind the camera. It's a show that kind of pushes the envelope in every direction. Dead action! What the fuck are you wearing? I'm wearing all black, man. I'm wearing all black. I know, that's why I'm doing it. I don't like it. Take your shirt off. Take my shirt off? I don't want to be the guy that cook out without a shirt. Kenny, I have gray nipples. <laughs> Head cuts. <laughs> and the three-two pitch. He struck him out. Get him fucking out. Ah! Danny McBride plays Kenny Powers, who's the center of the show, and uh, he's the heart of the show. If you could say he has any heart. Kenny Powers is sort of our take on like the state of the modern American hero. Welcome to the Shelby County School System, and your new exciting career as a. Substitute teacher. And when he got out of the big leagues, he's basically having to uh, to kind of return to his roots. Thanks for letting me crash here. Appreciate it. How long do you think that's going to be? Four fucking years. How about that? Really? We're brothers. He's totally unhappy. <laughs> Completely petulant about the fact that he's he's stuck here. I know it is our Christ-given duty to help out family, but can't we just kill him instead? It's like a fall from grace kind of anti-hero story in a way. I'm saying you need to stop being an asshole. I need to remember that I am better than everybody else. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's steroids, it's racist comments to the media, it's losing his fastball, it's bad attitude, getting out of shape. It's a funny twist on the whole, like, small town hero who goes on to, you know, great things in professional sports and that whole time they're, they're always thinking the place they were from and. I just want to say hi to everyone back at home. Kenny Powers is just the opposite. Oh! <laughs> bye bye, Kenny! On paper, he should be like an epic hero, but when you really take a look at this guy, it's like he's like the worst person who's ever lived. I recognize your scent. Oh, God. Do you recognize my essence? If you think that I'm going to hook up with you after all this time, well, then you've lost your goddamn mind. April, she's the long lost love. Basically, he's come back and realizes that the spark is still there. I'm engaged now. Yeah, right. Who are you engaged to? To me. Yeah. I play Terrence Cutler. Terrence Cutler is a middle school principal. Uh, he really thinks it'll be a coup for the middle school to lure Kenny Powers in, onto the faculty. A lot of you motherfuckers think you know who Kenny Powers is. Well, I'm here today to tell you all you don't know shit. <laughs> Within Kenny's first week on the job, Terrence realizes uh, this might be a mistake. I love seeing Kenny attempt his comeback. He does he barely makes it past the driveway. And then he has to resort to other things. Oh, shit. What are you looking at? Your nice hair, asshole. Yeah, nice job making three bucks a week, you dipshit. Cut. Love it. He envisions himself as some like heroic master that, you know, deserves all these amazing things and deserves all this redemption without putting any of the hard work into like a real redemption. At the same time though, you you actually start to feel sorry for him. If I didn't know any better, I'd think Kenny Powers was afraid to throw a baseball. <laughs> Let's make a deal. Why don't you just roll it on the ground like a bowling ball? Would that work? Huh? <laughs> bowling for dollars. I can distinctly remember at one point being very broke and sitting in a baby pool with Danny and Jody. We were just sitting there drinking, coming up with funny ideas for TV shows, and this one just kind of stuck because if you've ever seen Danny with his shirt off, or any of us with our shirts off for that matter. The idea of us being star athletes, well, that's just automatic comedy right there. Jody Hill and Ben Best, they are two guys I went to college with, and we've been longtime friends, longtime collaborators, and when we uh, met Will Ferrell and Adam McKay, we pitched them this idea for this TV show and they dug it a lot. We listened to the pitch and uh, we, we absolutely loved it. And they've got a similar kind of uh, sense of humor, I think, to Will and I, as far as loving egotistical characters that are just morally flawed. Within like, I guess, five minutes of us talking about this idea for Eastbound and Down, I think it was Adam McKay who stops and goes, you guys don't know anything about sports, do you? or baseball, and we were like, no, we don't. It's 
like if Dennis Hopper shot The Natural, uh, where all the characters are uh, taking Oxycontin and half drunk the entire time. It's fun to kind of say bad words with Danny. He's very creative, highly creative in that department. Yeah, I'm famous, la -di da big fucking deal. I remember when I went to the first audition and said, you know, you guys, this is pretty wild material. Who's gonna, HBO is gonna, and they said, you were on Deadwood, dude. So maybe that's one of the reasons that I got in is I think I can handle the crazy language. Hey, look at me, I'm a fucking icon. You're fucking up my siding. Man, fuck your siding. We always kind of wanted to do it like on HBO, something that they would just let us kind of open it up and, and make it crazy. A network like HBO, you look to it for taking great creative chances and making choices that on shows that that you don't see anywhere else. And so, and I think this really fits that same, that mold. Is it gonna be a deal? Is there a deal? I don't know, is there? Is the deal done? The deal could be done. Is it done? Show your cards. Okay. Show your cards. Flip them. I'm all in. Flip them. All in, flip them. Flip your cards. Okay. Full house. Oh, two aces and two twos. That's a deal. It's a deal. I like that we're shooting it in North Carolina. You know, me and all the guys who created it, we, uh, we went to school here. There's something in the air, like when we get on the set, it kind of just feels like we're just back in school, running around with video cameras, shooting student films, you know? But there's actually, people are getting paid, and there's real food, and, and then there's Will Ferrell. Two heavyweights, squared off, toe to goddamn toe. Some shit straight out of the natural. Ashley Schaefer BMW, woo! <laughs> this character of Ashley Schaefer sort of floated across the board, and uh, it just looked like one of those fun ones Will could take a big bite out of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, Ashley Schaefer is uh, just a definite kind of creation of Danny's insane mind, I think. Hey, Danny, woo! Woo! He might be even cockier than Kenny Powers. Look at me. I'm beautiful. Can you believe it? My shoes are worth more than your house. I don't even know if he knows anything about selling cars. Whatever needs to be set up for a fucking pitching contest, set that shit up. Consider it done. And Will, this goal was to destroy you laughing. Your dick's getting hard. <laughs> Stay with it, Kelly. You got it. There's a lot of funny people in this, so it is a constant challenge every day to not break. And you just feel like an asshole if you break character and ruin someone's great joke. Anytime I have to stare at Danny, and all of a sudden we realize that like we're on a set of an HBO show and that we're playing these two ridiculous characters, trying not to laugh is pretty impossible. It's such a good sign when you're working on something and you're, you can't get through a take without laughing. On top of her, powerful thrusts, making intense, painful love. <laughs> but again? shit, that is funny. We gotta go again, we gotta get that. That's the direction, too. Of right, the top again. Right, yeah. We like to shoot the as written, and then you can kind of sense where it's getting a little meaty or interesting and sort of give the actors a nudge in that direction. We started, we kind of started with the script. They never stick to the script. Hands together, that's Kenny Powers! Hey! We maybe do one take where it's the script. After that, all bets are off. We had multiple takes where we were just completely making stuff up. You know, we came up with this whole exchange where we tried to hit him in the nuts. Whoa, I don't play games like that. And Danny's like, I don't play games. And, and I said, hey, this isn't a game anymore. <laughs> who, who, who is this guy? It's my brother, Kenny. Are you as stupid as your fucking brother? No, he's stupider. The fun thing about working with these guys is you really get, they encourage improvising, which is, you know, personally, it's my favorite way of working. I get paid for what I do. I don't get paid in raccoon pelts like you butt fuckers. Huh? <laughs> you have a license to be an asshole, so it's fun. I mean, the meaner you are, the happier everyone gets. I mean, how often does that happen? Action! One thing each, guys. Wayne, one thing, not two. One of the things of, about comedy that I think is really, uh, you know, ultimately anchors it in reality is having actors that don't necessarily know what they, they're gonna say next. Dustin Jr., I think there's a 
Kenny Powers sexual coloring book in there. I'm not really big into scripted material. There's a box of Kenny Powers Magnum condoms for when you guys are older. We like to let them loose. None of you guys want the poster that I posed for as Christ? <laughs> Crazy as it sounds, because it just seems like it's a very vulgar, filthy show, but we actually worked really hard in kind of like arcing this out and figuring out where all these characters came from and what they do. And uh, as long as that stuff's there, you know, the jokes are just jokes. Everyone's kind of exactly on the same page in terms of uh, comedic sensibility. And it's really an atmosphere of best idea in the room wins. Danny McBride is one of the funniest guys I've, I've been around in a long time. The interesting thing about Danny is that I, he's one of the nicest people you'd ever want to meet, but nobody plays an asshole better. He is just a tremendous ass, but you love him. Everyone is collaborative together and um, supportive. It's a lot of fun. It's great. It's awesome. It's just incredibly original. Everyone is just so, so funny and so nice. It's been pretty awesome to work with all these guys.